Okay, in this video, we are going to uh, access the form elements. Uh, in our case, it's going to be an input box of uh, text. Uh, so we'll learn how to access this property, call some of the method that we can call on this object. Uh, as you know, there are uh, different ways of accessing the elements in an HTML page. To access the form, simply I can type document. Uh, the forms dot form name uh, and uh, dot elements can give me all the elements. Uh, I either can go use the name of the element I want to access in this case is temp um, or I can simply use the array index because elements is an array of all the elements of the form. Um, now as you can see, elements is an array, so I could simply go first element, second element by indexing 0, 1, or by just using uh, the name of the element uh, right after the elements uh, of the form. So what I want to do is I want to access some of the properties of uh, this element. So I can access the ID. I can access the name of the element, as you can see. Uh, I can even uh, set value to this box. So uh, just look at the text box. When I hit enter, you see the value content uh, will go to the text box like this. Uh, beside that, uh, I can do some other, I can use some other, some other one uh, like a style border. I can add border to a uh, input box that I have selected. In this case, I want to do a red, a solid red one pixel. Uh, as you can see, the border is added. I can also uh, go ahead and uh, access some other attributes like size. I can increase the size. Uh, I can uh, simply use another attribute as like max length, which uh, restrict the number of character user can enter into that text box. In this case, is three. So no matter what, I cannot add more than three characters into this text box. Uh, I also can use uh, some other attributes as well. Uh, methods as well, which can be a uh, method lock focus, which puts the focus on to the text box. So you can see the cursor is inside the text box by just using the focus method. Uh, so if I comment this, you can see it better. Now, as soon as I refresh the page, the cursor is not there. I uncomment and refresh the page. The cursor will jump to the uh, input box. Okay. Uh, there's some uh, other uh, method that I can use. Like here, I added content again to show you the other method which allows me to select the text inside this input element. Uh, so if I go here and just call the select method, it simply selects the text inside the input box. Uh, I can use some other attributes, like one of them is can be uh, disabled, which disable the box, you cannot write to it. So if I say disable the call true, it simply makes the box disabled. Obviously, if I want to make it enable, I just have to change the status of disable to false like this. And I hope you enjoy this video. 